Pinterest SEO best practices, guys. Guys, give me just 10 minutes. I'm going to show you some things that I've learned about Pinterest SEO and the best practice. The reason why I want to show you this tip, guys, you don't want to go down a couple years of bad highway like I did. And I want to help you guys stay on track like I was off track. Stay tuned. Let's get ready for the training. Before we get into the training, guys, I would like you to click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you will be notified the next time I do another video. Also, guys, I will have a link below this video of some powerful tools that you can use to market your business online. Guys, I'll see you in the training. OK, guys, I want to get into the training. This is going to be quick. But I want to make sure you take all of this in because this will be vital to your Pinterest SEO business. This right here, if you do not get this down, you, you'll run down a road that has no end to it, that has no success to it. So as I learn these things, I like to share it with you because I'm on the process of implementing the same thing. So. I hadn't come along, so I'm not one of those guys that that made everything and I'm showing you, you know, after my success, we're being successful together. So the first thing I want to talk about, <clears throat> this is an article that I got <clears throat> from one of my courses, and I'll just give you just a little bit of it in a little bit portion of the course. And if you want to you know, choose to get this course. I have a link below. But the first thing we want to talk about, guys, is this is kind of a structure that's going to lead you to success in Pinterest. So and these are the things and I, I, I don't know. I had I don't mess with a lot of other courses. I have my specific courses that I like to deal with. But this right here is going to teach you guys how to keep your pen from pen to board, from board, well, let me let me say this again, from board to pen to pen to the blog or video or whatever you have your traffic going through. It is vital that you are structured this particular way <clears throat> because when you structure this particular way, <clears throat> you will show up in Pinterest search a whole lot better. <clears throat> and when you're structured, the proper way where you have some people want to do it like a daisy way. They don't want to take the time to do it in a structured way. You can out compete them guys. So this is the reason why you have to take this and structure yourself from the blog post on to the board, to the pen exactly like this. Every time, every single time guys, if you do that, you're going to outbeat your competition. Reason why I say that, <clears throat> everybody in internet marketing or business online are looking for a miracle way of uh, being able to uh, make money. And there isn't. It is some things that you've got to learn and some things you got to go through. So I want to kind of explain this to you guys before you go through that headache that I went through. So let's just start from the top. And I'm going to use uh, someone else's pen today because it, it is structured right. And I want to show it to you the right way. OK, the first thing we want to talk about and we're going to kind of reverse engineer this, guys, right here, we're going to talk about the title. And this is right here is talking about the title of the pen. And let's just go to a Pinterest board of a, a, a person that I am studying with that I have her class and it's Anastasia. Um, we're going to take one of her pins, guys, and I'm going I'm to show you what we're talking about and we'll go back and forth. I even made a PDF of this right here. So, all right, <clears throat> you guys look at her pen, guys. 
Take a look at it. You see what she has? She has her title. She has her introduction with her title. And she even have that in her pen. More than likely, she probably have the actual pen image itself as renamed to that same keyword. Guys, see how congruent that is? One, two, three. Guys, you have to have that. You have to have that congruency. And now this is a video. Let's go to one that's a blog post. Let's see if this is a blog post. Yeah, this is a blog post. You see, <clears throat> look at there. From the image to the title to the description, all of these things are congruent. Okay. Now, let's go to the blog post. Let's just take a look at the blog post. You see, all of this is congruent. And if you was to download this pen or look at the properties of this pen, that pen image was renamed the same keyword that link you from that Pinterest pen. So I'm just trying to tell you this where that goes along. And let's go back to our, 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 our little PDF, that title. That description with that keyword and probably I didn't look at it look at there make money online make money online it's even in her link text guys and I want you to jot this down or I'll have a link to that post below this video this is something that you guys have to implement on every board every pen all the way back to your content guys okay so this is something that I knew better because I come up from an SEO background but I, I got around people that was wanting to make money and want to do things quick guys quality outlasts quantity guys just remember that because when you do it right the first time, you don't have to go back, man. You do not have to go back. So title right here, guys, title, description, and link. Okay. Those are the, the few things that we've done so far. All right. Let's go back and look at her board, guys. Look at the board. See that right there? The board is pinned to make money online. Okay. Right, let's go back to here. Board name. See where we at? Look at that. We done went title, description, links, text, board name. Guys, you see, all of that is congruent. So make sure you take that in, guys. Make sure you take that in. Now, Let's go to another level. Now, I can't look inside her blog, but I'm going to open up my blog so you can see. And uh, we just going to do. A, let's do a new post and I'm not going to put anything on there, but I'm going to kind of go through the post and let you know what it's talking about. OK, we're not going to make a post. But I want to go through here and, and give you uh, some things that we can can do far as in a, a description. OK. All right. If we go down here, guys, this right here would be. <clears throat> and let's get back to where we're making sense here. All right. We did the, the board name. All right. I'm, I'm all right. These two items here, we're going to come back. But right now, let's go to the meta, the page title, the meta description, the meta uh, title and the meta description. And then we'll go back to those other events. See that right there, guys? If that was my post, that will be make money online. That's what the, 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 uh, the uh, pen that we come with, make money online. That will be congruent to that pen. And then we would take that same keyword 
and place it right in here. This is a meta description and write us a description on that same particular keyword and then in our title right here make money online see how congruent that is there we go see all of that is congruent that's one thing that you have to do this is this these are the three items we're talking about page title page meta title that's what we found in the seo yos and page meta description all of that has to be congruent guys you can't miss this this right here will frustrate you if you try to cut the curve on this a lot of people don't like seo but let me tell you something if you're doing it you're beating the people that was whining guys so now since we established that just make sure if you're not tracking on this rewatch this video this is vital that you grasp this now let's go back to another thing okay Let's go back to, all right, her image. You see her image right here? Now, I'm not inside her blog post, but I'm going to give you an example inside mine just to show you this. Now, I'm going to get out of that because I'm not going to save this, okay? Just showing you that to go in there. And let's just go to my media, my media library where my images are at. Just to show you what you would do when it comes to optimizing an image. Let's just take a look at... Uh, we we'll just take a look at that picture that I had starting out. Now, I took that picture from a Facebook page and see you see what that looked like. But to make that right, you could come in and put, you know, and I'm not going to save it. And I'm just going to give you an example. Make money online to that image. Make money online to that alternate uh to the alternate tag and right here you don't want, you don't want to put the caption because it'll show up and then you will come back here right here guys and make a description of that make money online uh you know it, it'll go to the pen i'm gonna tell you the reason why you will want to do that guys right here if someone comes and they decide they want to pin that to their uh, Pinterest board, that meta description will come along with them. And they do have a plugin uh, that is out there. It's social something. I can't think of it. Social scrub. Or scrub I can't think of the name of right there. You can get it. But the plugin is per domain. It is an excellent plugin because it goes to several different social media platforms than just Pinterest alone. But I'm just saying if you're looking for somebody to repin that, all of this has to be done in your description. So when they repin that image, the meta description and all that will come along with it, guys. So, yeah. Now you see what I was talking about, guys. You see that? <clears throat> that is, I'm talking about really really best practices that's why i titled this video pinterest seo best practices this is a best practice that you have to do every time you can't skip a uh you can't skip this guys because what you're going to do is you're going to get the people who skip this that feels like oh i don't feel like doing this today i don't want to do this today they're going to skip this and you know what Y'all going to be competing for the same keyword, same content. And simply because you took the time to do this correctly, guys, you're going to beat them out. You're going to beat, the out, beat them out. Sorry about my in incorrect English. But, guys, this is what you need to do starting out 2020. Well, what we in the, about to be in the towards the fifth month, towards the fifth month. So, guys, take this teaching if it comes to you and guys write this down and I'll have the link to this post below. This is your magic potion, guys. You should do this on every pen. This is your formula right here. You do this throughout your Pinterest uh, account, throughout all of your images. You will start to see traffic, guys. Because everybody is not doing this, including me. So I am one of them type of guys. Once I get a tip, 
I like to pass it along, guys. I don't hold nothing back. I want to share it to people because I know how tough it is out there in this online market. And uh, I like to share things to get people going. So, guys, this is just my quick video tutorial on this. April the 20th, 2020, uh, guys, stay Corona free and stay safe and, and just try to try, try to be safe during this, this, this epidemic. OK, take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys on the next video.